Hi, my name is Alex Glazer with the Glazer Group at Long & Foster Realtors here in beautiful Richmond, Virginia. Thank you so much for joining me for your September 2018 Richmond Real Estate Market Update. So before we jump into the update, I just wanted to remind everybody about the cool swag that we have. Sunglasses we've had for a while, frisbees we've had for a couple years, but now we have Glazer Group hats. So if anyone out there wants a Glazer Group hat, just reach out, call, text, or email, and we will hook you up. So now jumping into the update, I always like to cover the same things. Uh, active inventory, sold sales in the most recent months, days on market and interest rates, because all of these are key factors on what's going on here in Richmond Real Estate. So starting off at inventory levels, we're right around 3,100 here, nearing the end of September, which is actually exactly where we were in the end of September 2017. But if you've been watching some of the other updates, we've actually been at a much, much lower inventory level for most of 2018. And just slowly, and this is pretty normal as the season progresses through the spring, summer, and now heading into fall, it does normally creep up. And we are just finally here meeting up with where we were at 2017. At the end of August, we were at a little bit less. So it was a little closer to 3,000. But, you know, it's pretty normal for it to creep up a little bit more here in September. Looking at sales, uh, August, we ended with 1,462 sales which actually ended up being the same percentage of sales versus active inventory of August. So most of this year, every single month, it's been a better month in terms of what's available and what's selling. Now the market's kind of caught back up to 2017, which definitely is not a bad thing at all. 2017 was a great year in real estate. I would still say that the majority of the market is still leaning towards a seller's market here in Richmond right now, but it is very area specific. You know, if you're out where there's a lot of new construction, it's definitely not as strong as a seller's market versus if you're in the city of Richmond where there isn't really any room to build new homes to compete with you. Days on market has also stayed pretty low. In August, it was 14 days. So far here, I know we're near the end of September, but so far it's been 15 days. Still phenomenal and still a little bit better than 2017. So, and a lot of you may have heard, the Fed actually just raised interest rates again. Not a lot, just a quarter of a point. How has that affected mortgage rates? Not that much. You know, I asked my lender this morning where interest rates were, and he said they've gone up from about 4.65 to 4.75. And I always have to do an asterisk with interest rates. There's a lot of variables that go into what rate you would get, depending on your credit score, what type of loan, and if you're gonna be buying it down with any points. But at least 4.75 is what a 30 year rate fixed mortgage is as of today here near the end of September. Feel free to reach out. All my information's here at the bottom. Again, my name is Alex Glazer with the Glazer Group at Long & Foster. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll talk to you next month.